Want to master the art of photography or videography in 2024? You're in the right place. Welcome to Lensphere Studios, where we believe that the world is your canvas and your camera is your brush. Whether you are an aspiring photographer or videographer, understanding the basics of this art form is crucial. It is the foundation upon which you will build your unique style and voice. Today, we will guide you through some easy, manageable steps to get you started on your creative journey. We'll be exploring the various facets of photography and videography, from understanding your equipment to mastering the art of framing, comprehending the interplay of light and shadows, and finally, the magic of post-processing. So, are you ready to embark on this exciting journey? Let's dive right in. We promise it's going to be a fun, enlightening, and most importantly, an empowering experience. And scene script. First things first, understanding your equipment is crucial. Let's dive into the fascinating world of photography and videography equipment. Imagine your camera or video equipment as a spaceship and you are the captain. To navigate through the vast expanse of creative possibilities, you need to know every button, every knob, and every intricate part of your equipment. Starting with the heart of your camera, the lens, the lens is like the eye of your camera. It determines what your camera sees and how it sees it. Different lenses offer different perspectives, so understanding which lens to use for what purpose can significantly elevate your work. Next up, the camera body. This is the central hub where all the magic happens. It houses the image sensor which captures the light that comes through the lens, creating the images you see. Each camera body type offers different features and controls which can affect the quality and style of your work. Moving on to the camera's brain, the processor. The processor is what makes a camera smart. It controls everything from autofocus to image stabilization. A fast processor means a faster camera, enabling you to capture those perfect moments without missing a beat. Let's not forget the camera's memory, the memory card. This little piece of tech stores all your shots. Picking the right memory card can mean the difference between capturing that perfect shot or missing it because your card was too slow or full. Lastly, we have the camera's power source, the battery. Just like you wouldn't embark on a journey without fuel, you shouldn't start a shoot without a fully charged battery. Always carry a spare because you never know when that extra bit of juice will save the day. Understanding each part of your equipment and how they work together is like learning a new language. It may seem daunting at first, but with time and practice, it becomes second nature. Remember, a good photographer or videographer knows their equipment like the back of their hand. So, take the time to familiarize yourself with your gear, experiment, make mistakes, learn, and most importantly, have fun with it. Because at the end of the day, your equipment is just a tool and you are the artist. Now that you know your equipment, let's move on to the art of framing. Framing your shots is where the magic happens, where you, the artist, get to play with reality and transform it into a visual story. One of the most basic yet powerful techniques is the rule of thirds. Imagine your viewfinder or screen is divided into nine equal parts, like a tic-tac-toe board. The idea is to align your subject along these lines or at their intersections. This creates balance and engages viewers more naturally. Let's visualize a sunset. Rather than placing the horizon smack in the middle, align it with the lower or upper third line. Suddenly, your sunset isn't just a sunset anymore. It's a vast sky ablaze with colors or an endless ocean reflecting the last rays of the day. But the rule of thirds is just the beginning. There are many other techniques to explore. The golden ratio, for instance, is a mathematical concept found everywhere in nature, from shells to galaxies. It's a bit more complex than the rule of thirds, but can create visually pleasing images with a sense of harmony and proportion. Then we have leading lines. These are lines within the image that guide the viewer's eyes towards the main subject. They could be anything, a winding road, a row of trees, a flight of stairs. Leading lines add depth and a three-dimensional feel to your images. 
Framing is also about what you choose to include or exclude from your shot. Sometimes, less is more. Negative space or the empty space around your subject can make it stand out more. On the other hand, filling the frame with your subject can create a powerful, up-close and personal effect. Remember, these are not hard and fast rules, but tools at your disposal. The beauty of photography lies in breaking the rules and finding your unique style. So, experiment, play around, and most importantly, have fun. Mastering framing can truly transform your shots from good to great. Embrace the art of framing and you'll be amazed at how it can elevate your photography game. Lighting and shadows, they can make or break your shot. Picture this, you're in a room with a single window. The sun is setting, casting a soft, warm glow that gently illuminates the room. This is natural light, and it's a photographer's best friend. Why? Because understanding light is key to capturing stunning images or videos. Light affects the mood, feel, and overall look of your shot. It can transform an ordinary scene into something extraordinary. Think about a sunny day versus a cloudy one. The same location can look drastically different depending on the lighting. On a sunny day, the colors are vibrant, the shadows are sharp, and everything looks crisp. On a cloudy day, the light is diffused, the colors are muted, and the shadows are soft. Both scenarios offer unique opportunities to capture beautiful shots. It's all about understanding and harnessing the power of light. Now, let's talk about shadows. While they can be seen as a challenge, shadows are actually a fantastic tool to add depth and interest to your shots. They create a sense of three-dimensionality, making your photos and videos come alive. Imagine a portrait shot. A face lit evenly might look nice, but it could also appear flat and uninteresting. Now introduce some shadows, perhaps by using a single light source. Suddenly, the face has depth, contours and character. It's all about balance. Too much shadow can obscure important details, but just the right amount can elevate your shot to the next level. Shadows can also be used creatively to highlight or hide certain elements in your frame. They can create patterns, guide the viewer's eye, or even tell a story. They're not just the absence of light, they're a powerful, expressive tool in their own right. So, as you venture into the world of photography or videography, Remember to pay attention to the light and shadows around you. Experiment, play around, and don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Remember, light and shadow are your paintbrushes in photography or videography. Now, let's talk about the cherry on top, post-processing. You know, the first time you see your shots on a computer screen, you might think, wow, these are fantastic. And they probably are but there's still a world of enhancement waiting for you in the realm of post-processing. It's like having a freshly baked cake and then adding the icing, the sprinkles and the cherry on top. It's that extra bit of magic that can turn your good photos into great ones. Let's start with the basics. Post-processing involves tweaking your photos using software. It could be as simple as adjusting the brightness and contrast or as complex as changing the entire color scheme of a photo. It's not about altering reality, but enhancing it to bring out the beauty and emotion that you felt when you took the shot. There are plenty of software options out there. Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop are the industry standards known for their powerful editing capabilities. But there are also free alternatives like GIMP and Paint.net, which are great for beginners each software has its own strengths and quirks, so it's worth trying out different ones to see which fits your style best. Now, on to the techniques. First up, cropping and straightening. This helps you refine your composition even after the shot is taken. Next, adjusting exposure and contrast. This can fix any lighting issues and really make your subject pop. Color correction is another big one. It can help you set the mood of the photo, whether that's a warm sunset or a cool winter day. After mastering these basics, you can move on to more advanced techniques like retouching, where you can remove unwanted elements from your shot or adding filters for that extra touch of style. Remember, the goal isn't to create a false reality, but to enhance the reality that you've captured. So, 
don't be afraid to dive into post-processing. It's not cheating. It's part of the art of photography. It's your chance to inject your personal style into your shots. And who knows, you might find that it's your favorite part of the process. Post-processing can take your shots to the next level, so don't skip this step. And that's it. You're well on your way to mastering photography or videography. Let's quickly recap what we've covered today. We began by understanding your equipment, because the magic truly begins when you know your tools inside out. Then we delved into the art of framing, the cornerstone of all visual art. We learned how to use light and shadows to our advantage, turning ordinary scenes into extraordinary shots. Finally, we discovered the power of post-processing, the final touch that can make or break your work. Remember, the key to mastering these skills is consistent practice. Don't be afraid to experiment and make mistakes. Each click, each shot, each edit brings you one step closer to becoming the artist you aspire to be. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the Lensphere Studios YouTube channel for more exciting content. Keep practicing and happy shooting.